That was the typing test for my first job. I think I did pretty well. I remember how I prepared for the test. It's a good thing I did those warm-ups I learned in class. This finger drill has always helped me. I clasp my hands and rub my palms together hard. And that warm-up sentence the teacher had us memorize. She said it would help us develop the mindset needed for the job of typing. Well, that helped me relax, and it helped me remember the rules of good typing. One rule, of course, is to concentrate on the copy. During the test, I didn't let anything distract me. It wasn't easy, but I think I did pretty well. Well enough to get this job, I hope. If they hire me, it'll be my first job as a typist. I wonder what it'll be like. What kinds of typing jobs will I have? What kinds of work will I do? What kinds of work will this young typist do? What are the fields of typing? Look into any business office. Look on the typist desks, and most typing you'll see is ordinary copy typing, the kind that's taught in school. A copy typist types material that has already been written or typed. And, of course, she does it with good form. That means setting margins. centering letters on the page. An experienced typist can do it without counting spaces or words. Every kind of copy typing has its own rules for format and spacing. Newspapers and magazine copy is usually double-spaced with wide margins. The margins are for proofreader's marks. When typing a second draft, the typist has to understand the marks. Start a new paragraph here. Single space. Close the space. Leave the copy as it was. Disregard the deletion. For radio, TV, and motion picture scripts, there are special requirements for form. In one kind of script, the visuals at the left side are aligned with the narration at the right. The scenes appear as separate blocks on the page. Another kind of copy typing is business reports. They vary in form just as they vary in purpose, length, and style. Often they begin with a rough outline, and the typist is responsible for indenting and spacing. The next stage may be a rough draft. Before it's accepted, this draft may be revised many times. It's typed on strong paper to withstand scratch-outs and erasures. The draft is double-spaced or even triple-spaced, so changes can be marked. And it has wide margins, an inch and a half to two inches at the top, bottom, and both sides to provide room for corrections and insertions. Business reports, scripts, newspaper articles, and letters. All are examples of copy typing, the field that provides work for most of the world's professional typists. And yet, in many offices, the greater part of the typing workload does not consist of copy, but of numbers, statistics, calculations, or equations. Perhaps the most difficult problem in such an office is typing tabular reports. Balance sheets are tabular reports that summarize the financial condition of a business on a particular date. Income statements set forth income in relation to cost and expenses. Statements of retained earnings show the amount retained by a company after the end of a fiscal period. Graphs may be prepared on the typewriter. 
In every kind of tabular report, the major problem is setting up columns on the page. Most typing experts recommend the backspace from center method. To begin, the typist clears the margins and tab stops and then locates the center of the page. She notes the number of columns and the longest item in each column. She plans to leave an even number of spaces between columns. Then, starting at center, she backspaces once for every two spaces in the longest line of each column. Once for every two spaces between columns. She sets the left margin stop at this point, where the first column will begin. Next, she spaces forward for the longest line in the first column, and for the spaces between columns. She sets the first tab stop where the second column will start, and she continues in this way until tab stops have been set for all the columns. In many smaller offices, the typewriter is used to do the job of other office machines. Record keeping. Check writing. Billing. Billing is speeded up by setting tab stops at the location of the quantity, build items, and price. Chain feeding brings one bill into the typewriter while another is removed. Bills, checks, financial records and reports. In some offices, they form the major part of the typing workload. In other offices concerned with insurance, banking and finance, thousands of typists are employed to fill in forms. Forms are the basis of these businesses. Forms for reports, for applications, for transmitting information, and for translating it to the language of the computer. Here, where a small mistake may pyramid into a huge error, accurate typing is vital. Forms often are printed so spaces match the spacing of lines on a standard typewriter. To type them, you line up the first line. The other lines are then properly spaced. In time, a typist becomes familiar with the form she types. Until then, it's wise to keep blank copies on hand to show lines hidden by the carriage. A typist may work on legal forms, wills, deeds, leases. When carbon copies of a legal document are prepared, a folded piece of paper is placed over the top of the forms before they are inserted in the typewriter. After the forms are in the machine, the paper is removed. A strong paper clip holds the copies in line. When typing is done on a line that includes some printed matter, the variable line spacer is used. It's adjusted so the typed material appears just above the printed baseline. Wherever there is more space than needed, words may be centered. If the filled-in information is a sum of money, spaces on each side are usually filled in with hyphens. Figures cannot be added later to change the meaning of the document. The typing conforms to the same margins as the printing. Index and file cards are not rolled through the carriage. Instead, they're inserted in a pleated page. A short, backward roll pulls the pleat and the card into the carriage. Lines typed on the pleated page make it easy to determine starting points for lines on the card. When a card is complete, the pleat is rolled up, the card is removed, and another is quickly inserted. A handy time saver in the job of typing. This job applicant may become a professional typist with many interesting jobs ahead of her. 
But even if she doesn't take up typing as a profession, it might play an important part in her life. Typing is valuable no matter what field a person works in. A student uses his typing skills in writing themes and term papers. He can often increase his writing speed by composing on the typewriter. A teacher may use typing skills to prepare lessons, to make duplicating masters for class handouts, to make overhead projection slides, a homemaker may type recipes, shopping lists, and orders. She can type checks and personal letters. To the professional man or woman, typing is valuable for keeping private records, for consolidating rough notes into legible form, for confidential correspondence. Whatever a person's career, typing is helpful, and for the professional typist, it is central to her employment. That's why it's important for her to know her basic typing skills. As she works in one or more of the many fields of typing.